name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. As this is a rather good morning, and uh, whom shall I send, says the hymn, and um, we are all sent. So we pray that as we are sent out to this day, we may carry Christ with us. At the times we don't do that, we we pray, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Pray for all those whom we wish to commemorate the sick, we call them to mind, people for whom we wish to offer this Mass, women, mothers yesterday, whose children did not get in touch with them, may your right hand, O Lord, we pray, encompass your family with perpetual help so that, defended from all wickedness by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. With the connivance of the authorities, a move was made by pagans as well as the Jews to make attacks on Paul and Barnabas and to stone them. When the apostles came to hear of this, they went off for safety to Lyconia, where the towns of Lystra and Derbe, in the surrounding country, they preached the good news. A man sat there who had never walked in his life because of his feet were crippled from birth. As he listened to Paul preaching, he managed to catch his eye, seeing that the man had faith to be cured. Paul said in a loud voice, Get to your feet, stand up, and Cripple jumped up and began to walk. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they shouted in the loud in their language in Laconia, These are the gods who have come down from disguise as men. But Paul and Barnabas heard what was happening. They tore their clothes and rushed into crowds shouting, Friends, what have you thinking you are doing? We are only human beings like you. In the past he allowed each nation to go, to go into its own, but then he did not leave you without evidence of himself and the good things he's done for you. He sends you rain from heaven, he makes your crops grow when they sh should, he gives you food and, and makes you happy. Even this speech, however, was scarcely enough to stop the crowd offering them sacrifice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Not to us, O Lord, but your name give the glory. Not, not to us, us o Lord, Lord, but to your name, name give, give the glory. glory. Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name give the glory, for the sake of your love and your truth, lest the heathen say, Where is their God? Not, not to us, O Lord, Lord but, but to your name, name give the glory. glory. Our God is in the heavens, he does whatever he wills. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to man. Not to us, O Lord, but your name give the glory. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach you all things and remind you of all I have said to you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you o lord and jesus said to his disciples anybody who receives my commandments and keeps them will be the one who loves me 
and anybody who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I shall love him and show myself to him. Judas, this was not Judas Iscariot, said to him, Lord, what is all this about? Do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus replied, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we shall come to him and make our home with him. Those who do not love me do not keep my words, and my word is not my own. It is the word of the one who sent me. I have said these things to you while still with you, that the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all I have said to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we shall come to him. For all, in all honesty, before the Lord, we say, Lord, we love you. And therefore, the second part of this sentence, my Father will love him, and we shall come to him, to make our home with him. And it is so hard for us to acknowledge the truth of the indwelling of God with us. And this is the grace we carry. The Father has glorified Jesus and handed over to him the whole of creation. Let us praise him in our morning prayer. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you have broken the power of hell, destroying sin and death. Do not let us be defeated in our struggle with temptation. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. You have ended death forever and given us new life. Guide our steps today along the path that leads to God. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. You rose from the dead to renew all people, grant eternal life to everyone we meet today. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Pope Francis and all the needs of the Church, for the Bishops' Conference, and for those who've asked our prayers, we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we be made sharers in the divine life of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our human life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, which will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, be pleased to receive us and accept the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. Firm good and good of all this holy church. Amen. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to praise you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the offering of his body, 
He brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, with Easter joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the path of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink in this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with me, your unworthy servant, with all the clergy and the entire people of God. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Joseph, the husband of Mary, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. And so gathered around this altar, in your homes and here in this little chapel in the Cathedral Presbytery, and all over the world, Christians join together to say the prayer Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in, uh, in, in, the, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Peace be with you. Oh God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm Lord, not, I'm not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. those of you sharing in this Mass who cannot receive communion directly. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you. Since I cannot at this moment receive you in the sacrament, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Almighty of the living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Easter sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The made heaven and earth. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. And may it be a good day for you.